Hi everyone and happy UND Day. My name is Katherine Fries and I am a proud UND alum and member of the Department of Art and Design faculty. In the department I teach printmaking and so today I've prepared a video so you can do a little printing at home. I hope you enjoy. Now at Hullabaloo Press, we use a variety of historic and contemporary approaches, techniques, and materials to create our prints and posters. But at the end of the day, printmaking is really a stamp or a stencil applied to paper with ink in between. So whether you're using a laser engraved logo or handcrafted wood type, historic or contemporary, or even carving imagery out of linoleum or wood, like this greyhound seen in a previous UND Day video, at the heart of all of these processes, you have essentially a stamp. So for this hound how-to, we will be doing just that and creating our own stamp. For this, we'll need a few materials from around the house, as well as one or two from a craft supply store. So gather your graphite pencil, pair of scissors, cardboard, and blank printing paper, and then the stamp itself will actually be created out of this eighth inch craft foam with a self-adhesive back. We'll use ink pads for our ink. And last but not least, the last thing we need is an image. In honor of UND Day, we're of course going to use our Greyhound, but I strongly recommend and encourage you create your own original image or design. Once cut out, we're gonna flip it over and put it in reverse so that when we create our stamp, it will print correctly. We'll freehand draw or trace the image onto the craft supply foam with a graphite pencil. Make sure you hold it firmly so that it doesn't slip or slide. Once traced or drawn on, it should look something like this. Now we trim carefully using scissors or even an X-Acto knife for small details, giving us a nice shaped design. Now we can peel off the self-adhesive back or if we don't have the craft foam with the self-adhesive back, use a glue stick to apply your stamp to a piece of cardboard, which will help when you, we go to print it. Now, once adhered, like the stamp previously used, we're ready to go. We're gonna use our ink pad to get our stamp inked and ready to apply. But you'll notice our stamp is a little bigger than our stamp pad. So we're going to flip our stamp pad over and carefully press the ink onto the stamp, transferring the color and coating it with ink. Once thoroughly coated, we're ready to print. Place your paper and then carefully hover your stamp over the paper until it's in position. Then lowering it, careful not to smear or smudge, you can press it firmly into the paper, transferring the ink from the stamp to the paper. And ta-da, we have our Greyhound. And what's beautiful about this is that printmaking is all about multiples. So you can make many Greyhounds and give them to whomever you wish. Maybe even get some blank postcards, creating designs on the front to send to friends to say hello. Now it doesn't have to be a greyhound. In fact, simple shapes like circles, squares, triangles, and the like can create infinite numbers of patterns when overlapped and placed side by side. So whether you're printing a greyhound or a simple circle or square, we want to see what you've made. So tag us on Instagram at UND Art Design or hashtag UND Day. Happy printing!